Hi everybody, today I will talk about uh, piping, ASME B31.3 process piping, first uh, part, pipe class, size and schedule. ASME B31.3 process piping contain piping class, size, schedule. Internal diameter ID of pipe, piping dimensional standard, dimensional toler tolerance. So the basic of piping system, a pipe is uh, essentially contain a pipe fitting valve and uh, speciality component. All piping system are engineered to transport fluid of gas safely and reliably from one piece of equipment to another. Piping is divided into two main categories, small bore lines and large bore line. As a general practice, those pipelines with the nominal diameter 2 inch and under are classified as a small bore and greater than 2 inch, a large bore. Pipe class. Pipe class or pipe class documents specify the type of uh, components such as type of the pipe, schedule, material, flange, rating, branch, valve type, gasket. Pipe class is developed considering operating pressure, temperature, corrosive environment. Pipe size. Pipe is divided into two main categories, small bore line and uh, large bore line. As general practice, those pipe line with the nominal diameter 2 inch and under are classified as small bore, greater than 2 inch, consider as a large bore. These are some uh, description of the pipe terms and their abbreviation. Pipe size. Pipe size are designed by two numbers, whether uh, diameters or thickness. In US, pipe size is designed by by two non-dimensional -di number: nominal pipe size (MPS) and schedule (SCH). Nominal pipe size is generally associated with the inside diameter (ID) for the size 1 to 8 inch to 12 inch. For size 14 inch and beyond, the NBS is equal to the outside diameter (OD). Schedule refer to the pipe wall thickness. As the schedule number increase, the wall thickness increase and the inside diameter is reduced. Nominal bore along with the schedule wall thickness is used in the British standards classification. European designation. European designation uh, is the method of the pipe sizing maintaining a uniform outside diameter while varying the inside diameter. This method achieves the desired strength necessary for the pipe to perform its intended function while operating under various temperature and pressure. It's also important to maintain certain intergenerability of the pipe fitting. The, the European designation equivalent to NB to to uh, uh, to the DN. So the NBS is for the US and for the European RDN. Nom uh, diameter nominal. The pipe size are measured in mil mil millimeter. This table show you exa example. If the NBS 12 inch is equ equivalent to DN 15, and f and if it's four, it's equivalent to 100. Pipe schedule. The schedule of the pipe refers to the wall thickness of the pipe in the American system. Eleven schedule number are available, available for the carbon steel started from 5 to 160. The most popular schedule by far is schedule 40. So schedule 40, 60, 120 and 140 have rarely been used. Thickness of the pipe increase with the schedule number. This means that the Schedule 80 steel pipe will, will be heavier and stronger than Schedule 40 of the pipe. Schedule 80 of the pipe will, will provide a greater factor of the safety, allowing it to handle a higher design pressure. Schedule 80 will be used more material and therefore coster to make and install. 
steel steel piping schedule generally match with the carbon steel piping schedule but are always identified with suffix s from 1 to 8 to 12 inch so let's example like schedule 40s and schedule 80s are the same and their corresponding schedule are 40 and 80 in the size except schedule 12 inches in the schedule 40. how to cal how to calculate schedule a simple rule of thumb expression schedule number will be equal to 1000 multiply pressure over uh, the allowable stress in psi so let's take example calculate the allowable internal pressure b for the schedule for the 40 mil steel pipe having ultimate strength potential strength is value of 65300 psi rearrange the schedule equation p will be equal to sch multiply by the s over 1000 therefore p will be equal 465.300 over 1000 the result will be 2612 psi this is reasonable based on the current day published value of 2849 psi for one inch schedule 40 steel pipe internal diameter id of the pipe for process engineer the most important parameter for the hydraulic sizing is the pipe internal diameter id the id can can easily be calculated as uh, id will be equal to outside diameter minus two multiplied by the thickness let's take this example a four inch schedule 40 pipe has an outside diameter of 4.500 inch and the wall thickness 0.2337 inch therefore the pipe id uh, 4.5 inch minus two multiplied by the thickness 2.37 inch the result will be four 0.026 inch a 4 inch schedule 80 pipe has outside diameter of 4.5 inch a wall thickness 0.337 inch therefore the pipe id will be 4.5 inch minus 2 multiplied by 0.337 inch and the result will be 3.826 inch pipe dimension dimensional standard pipe size are documented by the number of a standard including ABI 5LF ANSI ASME BA36.1M and US BS1600 and PS1387 in United Kingdom typically the pipe wall thickness is control variable and the inside diameter ID is allowed to vary the pipe wall thickness has a, va a variance approximately 12.5 this table will give you example of MBS from 3 inch to 12 by the, by the schedule from 40 to 160 outside diameter from 3.5 to 12.75 and inside diameter with wall thickness dimension tolerance the dimensional tolerance for the pipe are providing by ASTM A53 530 standard that permit following variation in the pipe size pipe length and the weight normal pipe size up to four inch will be equal plus minus 0 0.79 and 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 so on wall thickness most pipe standard allow pipe manufacturers a fabrication mill tolerance of 12.5 percent of the wall th thickness so all pipe will have between minus 12.5 percent tolerance not specified and the length will be plus 0.6.4 mm millimeter plus or minus and the weight will be vary between 10 percent to 1.5 percent this is the end thank you